Okay, I'm here with the Hulk, Barbosa. Oh, hey. <laughs> the Hulk show. So, Lucas, uh, first question. What is this mustache? What is that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why, did, why did you grow that? Where Man, did that idea came uh, from? I don't, I, I don't call this mustache. I call this the hoax stash. The hoax stash. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I just woke up the day. I was like, you know what? It's time to change. You, you look know? like a Turkish guy. A Turkish? Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 Those like Turkey, uh, the Turkish guys that they grapple, you know? Oh. Like I in the video game, like they have one character like that. Like it, it looks like you. Which one? It's like Street Fighter. Oh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> the guy with the oil. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people like think they're uh, they calling me the, the Pablo Escobar from Brazil. No, no, no. Because <laughs> they hear the most, <laughs> you know, but yeah. Maybe because you're bad, yeah. like training, huh? <laughs> Badass training. All right, Lucas, uh, tell me a little bit, like, I know your routine for sure, but just for your fans and for those who are listening, like, tell, uh, talk a little bit about your routine. like. How's your routine when you're training? Like every day, I see you like training jujitsu twice. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I know, like you have so many things like going on. You fight back to back. Like mm -hmm. last couple months, like maybe like every week. Like, yeah. Every week you're fighting. Yeah, yeah. You went to Brazil, come back, <laughs> went to to Dallas, and come back and fight again. Like it's crazy. So tell me a little bit like your your routine, like Aratus. Yeah, pretty much my routine at this moment. You know, because I'm doing like you know you tournaments. I try to, uh, uh, I, I always try to uh, um, do both, you know, gi and no gi. So uh, I woke up and uh, I wake up in the morning. I train complex 10:45. Uh, I sometimes I'm try like some some days I train gi, sometimes I train no gi at this uh, in the morning. Some trainers I do I train both, you know, half around no gi, another half in uh, the gi. Um, you know, and then I go back home, rest. Uh, sometimes I try to hit, hit a, uh, you know, some weights, uh, and then I try to come, uh, I come train at night here at yeah. 6:15. So it pretty much depends on night. Like usually it's gi or no gi, uh -huh. but I'm always like uh, have the morning and night classes on my schedule for sure. Mm. So and on the on the on the Wednesday I take I take a day off. You know, so Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesdays. Yeah, but it's like full day off. Or? Full day off. Yeah, sometimes like. But that's the thing. Uh, uh, I, I was I was talking to a friend that like, like I used to take I used to take a Wednesday off and then I still, I used to I still used to get tired like on Thursdays. But I realized this, like pretty much was about the way I was taking that day off you know mm. i was trying to just eat like a lot of you know yeah. crab food yeah. you know yeah. and i was my body was not recovering from that yeah. so i just like taking my days uh my wednesday off and started eating really well and i felt good to train on uh now i'm feeling good to train on thursdays and and, and fridays you know so i'm yeah. finished the week like great so yeah so pretty much depends like now like the way I, that's where i'm starting learning about yeah. my body like the way i eat the way that i yeah, that's I what I, I, I say that all the time. Uh, it, it requires a lot of discipline. Yeah. Right? So people think that the, the hard part of training is just come on the mat and do your best. But you got to live like 24 7 your dream. Mm -hmm. Right? Like what you put like inside your body, like the food that you put in your body, like makes a lot of difference, a huge difference in your training, your performance. Mm -hmm. Right? And a lot of people don't trust that. Like a lot of people are yeah. like, ah, you know, like I don't care. I'll, I'll drink. I'll. I'll party or I'll do whatever, you uh -huh. know, but I think it requires a lot of discipline, you mm -hmm. know, so yes. and I'm glad that you, you learned the lesson. Yeah, you know? for sure. <laughs> because yeah. definitely that makes a lot of difference. Yeah, like, I, I feel that we we have to be able to, like, to, uh, to, to, uh, to try things, you know, about, uh, uh, like, our, our body. Like, a lot of people, like, they think, like, oh, I'm not going to train five times a day because I'm going to get two times. Like, but man, you never tried, you know, like, yeah. so how, how, how you know that you're going to be like, oh, yeah. no, like, like at this moment, yeah. I'm, I, I, I became vegetarian. Yeah, like, yeah, and now, like, I'm yeah. changing my diet to see, like, how yeah. my body feels. And uh, at this moment, I feel great. So it's not like, and oh, I man. And I too, like, almost every day, I, I notice, like, a huge difference. Yeah, exactly. So, like. But it didn't work for me. Like, the diet didn't work. I tried. <laughs> yeah. Like, everybody's tried. a different animal. I tried for You're three different. days. I tried for You're three days. You're a different days. animal, yeah. you know? <laughs> you need the meat. <laughs> but, like, I feel that I can't live without the meat just because, like, I feel that my game, yeah. it's like the, uh, the, the pressure that I put, the speed, you know, the explosion. I don't need that much, like, power, like, to, mm -hmm. to do. Like, I already have that with, like, 
within, you know, like uh-huh. I just like have that in my style. Mm-hmm. So uh, I didn't have a lot of difference in yeah, that. Like yeah. I'm not saying that I'm going to be vegetarian for forever. forever. I, who knows? But you eat but, like eggs and fish. Yeah, all the dairy fish. is like, all the, no, no, all the no dairy is no fish. Oh, like wow. I try to, try to keep myself. Cheese, uh, no cheese. Cheese, eggs, milk. Uh, you know, whey protein. That's why I like. But like cow milk or cow milk? milk. Uh, cow milk. You really? Still, yeah. Wow. Still like, I'm not vegan. Vegan's different. Oh man, like if I drink like cow milk, like it hurts my stomach. Really? Yeah. No, I don't have this problem. Yeah, but I, yeah. I don't drink cow milk for like maybe like since 2003. Yeah. Yeah. Like wow. Since, uh, three, like for 17 years. Yeah, like I I do, but I, I do really like uh like one percent mm. fat you know mm. so i feel pretty good man like i feel pretty good in this diet like for now like that's what i'm trying now mm. i feel that uh i can keep going on my like my my my, my game change so the secret is the is the diet and the mustache the most <laughs> the most <mustache. laughs> the most actually give me confidence <laughs> everyone has to grow the most once oh, try so that guys <laughs> more more. all right so uh what is your your plans right now like you have any uh, plans, of course, for this year, it's really hard to do plans this year. Yeah. So you gotta it's just very like whatever like, they give you, right? Yeah, whatever comes. Like now, I pretty much like because you know I was back to back, like every, how you said, uh, I was I was fighting every week, uh, weekend, and now I, I I'm trying, you know, uh, slow down a little bit of my body, you know, get some rest, and then try to come back again yeah. on the same path. Mm-hmm. I like it. Like the the thing about like competing every week, like I, that's what I feel. I feel that I get addicted. I always want like keep doing that like every, every weekend, week. yeah. you know, because once you start getting the, you know, the, the, the rhythm, the, the rhythm, you just want to keep going. Yeah. But you know, it's good to have a break, you know, to like mm-hmm. to rest your body. There's a lot of things that you get, you can. Uh, you, you have to study about that, you know, if you don't rest rest well, like the day that I fought in Brazil and I came in here to find another weekend and, you know, we didn't train hard. We yeah. just like, just got some, yeah, you know, yeah, sweat, you know. Yeah, and then like, many things because, happen too, like they change the opponents, they put a guy like way heavier. Yeah, it's like, like there's a lot of things that you never know. Yeah. So you gotta make sure so you, you gotta, gotta be prepared. Either, yeah, you gotta be prepared. We could say no for that fight, but we yeah. just like, yeah, yeah, why not? Do let's do it. Like. <laughs> But our focus was like to compete against Leandro Law, and I know that uh, we all saw the fight that you had against Leandro Law. Uh, it was an incredible performance. Uh-huh. Incredible, Lucas. Uh, very, very good. And uh, tell me a little bit about like how did you feel the day that I wake up for, for that tournament? Like, did you sleep well the night before? What was like, what like was like something that uh-huh. happened that day that make you like fight like that you know like yeah I, I don't I was just pretty confident because I really I I had a, a an awesome camp with you helped me a lot like all my teammates here uh, so I was pretty confident on my game but at the day when I got there you know like that that, that morning um, actually I, I I still was still a little bit on jet lag mm-hmm. <laughs> I went to sleep like one in the morning but the good thing about it like we fight at night yeah. So I slept rest really, day. yeah, I slept, uh, I slept the whole day. You know, I was just very positive at that day. Um, I trained Leandro a little before, you know, and Leandro taught me a lot and I know pretty much his game. Last time, the first time we fought, it was pretty much like both respecting each other, yeah. you know, it was like, and this time we were both just had a one fight. So we, yeah. I just, I just want to give everything that I have yeah. and Good, uh, you know, it works really well. It worked really well, yeah, exactly. So when I got there, I felt felt good when I stepped on the mat. Yeah. You know, I just started vision. It was incredible. Air, you know, air, like I had the vision, like my about my win and everything. Wow. And you know, I I did a good strategy against him. Yeah. I felt that that I dominated the, the the fight. Yeah. You know, it got really good good uh, um, uh, opportunities to mm-hmm. to. You know, they end up the fight well. Mm-hmm. So, congrats. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. Amazing. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Shout out to FIPA, BJJ Stars. Yeah. Thanks for uh, taking care of my guys there. Great so, event. Great event. Yeah, great event. Thank you for, for all the help that you do for the Jiu Jitsu community. And Lucas, yeah, so I think this is it, man. I was just like, want to to pick up a little bit of your mind, you know, uh-huh. <laughs> your mood. Yeah. Lucas has always a like, good mood, like when he's training, when he's here. The energy changes a little bit every time he's here, so I like your positivity, yeah. the way you see life, yeah. you know, the way you hand, handle with your your internal problems, and you know, mm-hmm. like I, we know that uh, every fighter they struggle a little bit, you know, 
But we, we are fighters. We overcome all the yeah. time, right? Uh -huh. And I'm really, really happy to see you riding and you like overcoming uh, more and more and growing up like as a man, as a as a father, you know, like you have a, this guy, he has like, man, like two beautiful kids, man. It's amazing. Of course, I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm handsome. Man, your daughter and your son, they're so beautiful, man. Congratulations. Thanks. So amazing, guys. So uh, thank you so much, Lucas. Thanks, All Professor. Right. Good job, amazing. man. Amazing. Thank I love you, brother. You, love you too, man. Okay? Os Ato Jiu Jitsu. Hey! Hey!